signs of Leo. How are you all doing? My name is Kim and I'm going to do a reading for the update. That's your next 48 hours. We're going to do a few oracle and clarify each one with the tarot, the urban tarot. So we're going to get started. Thank you all for your lectures and subscribes, comments. That really helps the channel out. Um, it supports me and this is like giving a huge tip and I appreciate you. Right now I'm doing readings for donations. If you want to look in the description below, the description box below. Let's get started. I actually changed my mind on the archetype um, cards and for some reason I recorded it like in the wrong direction again. <laughs> so, so I'm starting again, Leo. Your last one was about partnerships, the Empress energy, uh, Two of Cups. It was some good things, but there was also like a truth that was revealed. That's just a, a synopsis, a summary of your last reading. Yeah, there was breathing new life into something too. And the Ace of Pentacles, being able to help other people. Yeah, the things that you are compassionate about, that you see the truth about. All right, let's get some cards for Leo, please. Wow. Let's do one more. Okay, justice card on the bottom of the deck, to be fair. Making something equal or having an actual court event to attend. And either way, when that card comes out, it's usually good. Good news. Woo, that's good. <laughs> okay, guys, don't forget when you're manifesting that you want to state your intent you really want to state your intent because the intent, the why are you doing this? Um, your last reading was kind of talking about that you might be doing something that's for profit, but that will enable you to help and have compassion for a certain group of people. And this card is kind of like a reminder of, hey, state your intention. It makes your manifestation that much more powerful when it comes out. Milk and honey and Treasure Island together and to the sea. You are manifesting this beautiful new time of prosperity. And it's like times two. I mean, it's really big here. This is something big. This is something really big. Um, if you are inspired to make money to help other people, this is the reading for you. Because that looks like what's exactly going to happen. And it's because of your intentions. If your intentions were something different, I'm not sure if it would happen this time around. To the sea says, look, you are more than moving into these energies. You've already started. So this, um, it's just not full yet, but it's started. Um, it's like the water coming out of the tap a little bit at a time in the beginning. The To the sea is having your manifestation and being at the point where you're past the flow point. So whatever was your vision was going down the river and it sped up. And now it spits you out to where your vortex is, to the sea. Where the little me joins the big me. All right, we're gonna get some tarot cards. Let's see what they have to say about like the why card, the intention. Three of wands, waiting for your, waiting for this stuff to come in. You're in, you're, you know, you're past flow now. You're like, it's time, it's time, tick tock, tick tock. You know that if you ask about timing, it's just gonna tell you divine timing. So that gets a little frustrating. All right, let's let's uh, look to clarify milk and honey. The Hierophant. Ooh, and I have the failure card on the bottom. Ooh, seven of pentacles. All right, this might be, it's half and half because it's laying like this. When it lays like this, in my mind, that means that it's gonna apply to half of you. This is gonna apply to half of you. This is either prosperous time in your commitment, yay, 
or this means a commitment just didn't work out. And especially when you enter this time, this is really not going to work out. I don't know why. I can't see why. This person just has different virtues and ethics than you. Now, on the flip side, like I said, this could be your coupling and whoever you're with or whoever you might find is going to be really prosperous. There actually might be some legal documents to sign if you're going to be purchasing something um, or making something a contract. All right, so hard pill to swallow, but that's somebody. Treasure Island. <laughs> Here's another half and half. We have the lovers on the bottom of the deck. Maybe a Gemini. In its context, I really don't know. Knight of Wands. This was sideways too. Okay, this is the ebb and flow of prosperous times and money. This is talking about, look, when you're doing something big, and you've manifested something really great for yourself, it is common for money to come in flow of an influx and then pull back and then come in again. It comes in and out. And it may not ever have been coming in at this great amount with Treasure Island. Knight of Wands might be talking about a character that's kind of immature in your life that will, just won't grow up. It doesn't mean he's actually young. Could be somebody that just has this young mentality where they're just really childish. It says the rock star insinuating either the person comes and goes in and out of your life or this is about the money. Especially if it's something big. Like I said, if it's a business, businesses, you know, come, it comes and goes, come and goes. It takes a while to develop a steady stream, but it comes eventually. And then to the sea. Let's look at to the sea. Wow. Wow. Wow, Leo. Lots of indication that your wealth is coming and financial windfalls of it too. That was talking about in and out, coming in really big. This is talking about coming in really big too. Nine of Pentacles. Still the lovers on the bottom there. Let's get you some tea leaves and uh, we're going to see what else maybe we can add to this. To wrap up your reading, Leo. One... <laughs> okay like i said there, there's some people that are going to relate to this part and there's some people that aren't so with that commitment or whether no matter what it was it might have been a legal binding for a job too uh that hierophant card broken bridge broken bridge with some commitment that might be why you wanted to manifest something different, you know. Um, let's see here. Bread right here by that nine of pentacles. Gain. Pale. Time to get out of a situation. Time to get out of a situation. She does kind of look, you know, even though that's not the meaning of this she seems a little stuck in, in that boat by herself. Maybe that's a feeling of stuckness. Maybe that's what that feels like. Star, guaranteed success, guys. Let's put that one right there. Maybe an Aquarius. Firecracker looks just like Star, doesn't it? Firecracker, excitement. Throne, position of authority. May have something to do with that, um justice card on the bottom there bull taurus do not back down from opposition show strength and fortitude and dagger fears worries and tense situations yeah and bread period of prosperity wow that's what i've got for you leo it looks good it just it's like there's this one situation that's kind of messy but the rest looking pretty good all right come back and see how the energy has changed and we'll take a look at your update Sending you love and light. Thank you. Bye-bye.